morning, welcome or welcome back to Sustainable Sierra YouTube channel. If this is your first time visiting me here, hi, welcome, my name is Sierra, I'm an American who lives in England and I make videos of my family's life here or whatever it is that we happen to be up to on the weekly or the monthly depending on how busy I am. Anyways, in today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, I've got a very exciting unboxing for you. We're going to be doing the Lush Halloween Collection unboxing, which is very, very exciting. Before we get into the unboxing, one thing I wanted to say that was actually mentioned in my last video, you guys said something about like background noise in my um, video. Unfortunately, my neighbors have been jackhammering on this side and on this side of the street. My neighbors have literally torn down their entire back of their house and are rebuilding. It looks like a conservatory and a kitchen. So the, the builders have been out there every single day, even on Sundays, pounding and pounding away. And there's nothing I can do about the noise. So if you hear noise in the background, I'm sorry. Also, Little Man and Mister are hanging out downstairs underneath of me. So if you hear child and daddy noise, that's what it is. Anyways, uh, let's get into these unboxings. I'm very, very excited about it. A little bit of a spoiler alert and to be completely transparent with you guys. I think it's the same thing last year I didn't buy the entire collection because as you guys have been around for a while know my Lush collection is out of control. I actually have a closet over here, well not a closet, a cupboard over here that has my Lush collection in it and I have like four very large storage boxes in there full of Lush products. So I definitely don't need any more why I'm buying products to show you guys and for myself, I'll never know. Although there's a lot of products in the collection that I love, I tried not to buy anything that either I absolutely didn't love or that I had never tried before. So without further ado, let's open up this big box and see what's inside. So the first item I'm going to show you guys out of the box is a bath bomb. It's actually my favorite bath bomb that has ever come out in the autumn or Christmas collection and that is the Lord of Misrule bath bomb. Lord of Misrule bath bomb is an oldie but a goodie kind of a cult classic. It's been around for a while you know. Uh, they redesigned it this year. It's kind of, it's still the same mold which is kind of hard to see on camera. Um, it's the mold that they originally used that had kind of like the crown look to it. Um, two years ago they changed it to a jester type mold people didn't like it so they switched it back and then this year they kind of just redid the outside of the same shape with different design which is really cool i have to admit i have i think three of these still in my um, lush collection from last year but i wanted to buy one more partially because i want to see if it's still that beautiful or blood red color which by the way if you've had a chance to try this please let me know in the comment section if it's the same red bath color but i can smell it from here the scent is the same so i'm gonna give it a sniff and then yeah i'll tell you guys a little more so Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's like the seasonal scent. I love it so much. So Lord of Misrule, if you guys haven't tried it yet, is incredible. It is a vanilla and patchouli and black pepper scent. The first time I heard the description years ago, I really didn't think I would love it, but I love it. It's just something about it. All those scents just together really have this mischievously herbal scent uh, and it's just delicious. So I got one of those. Lush usually comes out with a handful of things in Lord of Misrule scent. This year there's an entire collection. Unfortunately, I didn't buy the entire Lord of Misrule collection, partially because um, I already have a bunch of the candles left. I bought a I think four of the candles, the little candles for Boxing Day last year. I actually have one just right there for decoration. I haven't burned it yet because I wanted to save it. But there's a one wick candle, a three wick candle, a shower gel, which I still have a huge stockpile of from my Boxing Day haul. I'll put that up in the cards if you guys want to see it. But I have three bottles of that left and a bunch of other things. So I didn't buy that. There's also a body spray, which unfortunately wasn't online for some reason yet when I checked out, but I'm probably gonna go to the store and pick it up sometime in the next couple of days. So is that part of my haul? Not sure. Speaking of Lord of Misrule, since we're already in the Lord of Misrule theme, there's another Lord of Misrule product that I haven't mentioned yet. And that is the first ever created Lord of Misrule soap, or at least there's never been a Lord of Misrule soap in the time that I've been a Lushy. It looks like this and it should smell exactly the same when I give it a little sniff. Ooh, no, it doesn't smell the same. Wow, that's really interesting. So this is called the Lord of Misrule soap, but why does it smell so different? And this formula, it almost smells like kind of anise or something. I don't know. I mean, it smells incredible, but it doesn't smell at all like Lord of Misrule. So I'm gonna check the ingredient list in here. I'm actually gonna set it down first because it is melting all over my fingers. So according to the Lush app, the scents that are in the Lord of Misrule soap are rice bran oil, which the rice bran oil might change the scent a little bit. I don't know. I don't really smell like rice bran, but anyways, it also has the, of course, black pepper oil, dark Sumatra and patchouli oil, and vanilla absolute, but it also has some white pepper powder and gardenia extract. So maybe it's the gardenia that's making it smell a little bit different, but if there's gardenia in the original formula, I don't think I've ever noticed it before, but hmm, that's really interesting. Either way, I think it's a beautiful soap and I can't wait to use it in my bathroom. 
who knows maybe it'll just smell a little bit different once it gets all sudsy and delicious in the water i don't know but anyways moving on to the next item in the box is one of my favorite items that came out last year that i had to rebuy this year and that is the toil in trouble body scrub actually mr really likes this and it's a beautiful purpley black well it's purpley black this year last year i don't know what color it this year is but oh yeah it's the same so toil and trouble body scrub looks like this i'm probably gonna spill it all over my office but you know what it's fine i don't know if you guys can see it in there but it has a like beautiful purpley color and it has these little jelly um bats inside that are like actually little like um, bath jellies and they're really cute. They're actually shower jellies and so they're really cute and fun. Last time a little man got a hold of them, he used them as bubble baths. So he had a bubble bath that smelled like toil and trouble, but oh, this smells so good. Okay, so I'm gonna have to wipe my hands on that little towel here. I guess I'm gonna have to go change the towel by the time I'm done with this take. Can't remember everything that's in toil and trouble, so I'm just gonna read it from the side. So toil and trouble is scented with peppermint infusion, laudanum, resin, Oris oil, patchouli oil, and sage oil, and it has a bit of carrageenan extract in there as well, which I think is actually just the um, like thickener that they use for the jelly bats. So I love this so much. I love peppermint. You guys know I love peppermint, so this is definitely one of my favorite products that are part of the collection this year. But anyways, as you guys can see, I am covered in some mess, so I'm gonna go wash my hands and I'll see you guys in a second. Sorry about that, you guys. I'm back now, I'm clean. My hands still smell pretty strongly like Toil and Trouble, but the show must go on. Moving on to the next item in my box is another soap, and it is the Demon in the Dark soap, which as you guys can see, again, this soap is super, super adorable. It's got a little mini ghost inside, and it's green. Um, I saw on Instagram that in the shops, the big wheel of soap actually has all different characters in it. So according to the Lush app, a Demon in the Dark soap is scented with peppermint oil and organic apple juice, which is probably what gives it that really, like, fresh scent i had i was smelling something in the front of it i couldn't figure out what it was so it's probably the apple juice um as well as spearmint oil clove bud oil and gardenia extract so it's a very complex scent i think it also has a, sh a shower gel twin i think it's the demon in the shower shower gel it smells really 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 delicious and i'm looking forward to using it actually now that i stand here and smell this I think that this was a little bit too close to my lord of mist rule soap because my lord of mist rule soap smells a lot like this soap so I think they were actually just too close to touching each other on one side, but no matter, I'm going to enjoy and love both of them. Moving on to the next item in my haul, I actually got two of them, and it is the Jason's Mummy Bath Bomb. Jason's Mummy Bath Bomb smells incredible. Oh my gosh, I love this. I can smell it. I could smell it all the way from up here. It's very sweet. I have no idea what's in here, but it smells delicious. But before I even get into really talking about the smell, let's just appreciate how adorable these guys are. And actually looking at them, I think this is the same mold that they actually used for the Jinja Ninja that came out in that Japanese bath bomb store a few years ago. But so that's really fun. Um, smells incredible. I'm going to put one of these down so I can tell you guys the ingredients. I think it's like orange. I think it's mandarin scented. Something in there. It smells uh, delicious to me. So let me just read the ingredients tangerine oil okay so close not mandarin oil tangerine oil which you guys know it's another citrus orangey fruit close i'm gonna give myself a point for that as well as grapefruit oil and the stea cubeba oil you guys know i love some grapefruit so that's why this one smells incredible and i think i have to buy at least two more maybe three more and i'm actually really excited to try this because not only is it absolutely delicious smelling but apparently it has that um like glow in the dark powder in here so maybe the entire bath will glow in the dark that would be so cool all right, next item in the little collection for this year is not a bath bomb, it's actually a bubble bar, and it is the Bonehead Bubble Bar. Isn't that funny? Little man saw this, he laughed out loud, so I definitely had to get him one. Although Bonehead Bubble Bar is just, you know, a classic white color, apparently it gives some really incredible bubbles and smells delicious, so let's give it a little smell. Ooh, that's very delicious and minty. I think I'm going to like this one. I also think Little Man is going to have to share with me, or maybe I'll just buy another one. But anyways, according to the ingredient list, Bonehead Bubble Bar is scented with, I think it's just mint. Uh, it looks like it is just, yeah, spearmint oil. So that's why it smells so good. I love spearmint and peppermint. Peppermint is my favorite, but spearmint is definitely a close second. So that should be fun to try in the bath. And look at how cute his little face is. Oh my goodness. I love him. He really does look like a bonehead. <laughs> well, I guess it's a skull. So I guess it is technically actually a bonehead, but Anyways, now that I'm done being weird, let's move on to the next item in the box, which is the Screaming Banshee Bubble Bar. Screaming Banshee Bubble Bar is so, so cute. If you guys don't know what a banshee is, I think it's 
Irish folklore there is like a woman screaming um and it's called a screaming banshee and so this is a screaming banshee bath bomb it's really teeny I know that you guys kind of hard to tell from up here but see how tiny it is in comparison to the other bath bombs so this is a really good one if you just want to get a little gift for someone um it also smells really good I think it is the Spice Girl scent let's give it a little smell oh interesting mine is like I don't know if you guys can see that but I think there's something really moisturizing in here that's melted because it's actually quite hot today in England. Um, for some reason, it's 25 in September. Don't know what that's about, but it looks like it's kind of melting in there, which is interesting. But anyway, let's give it a little smell. Yeah, it definitely to me smells like Space Squirrels. I always forget what's in Space Squirrels, so I'm just going to read the ingredients to you. So it is bergamot oil and grapefruit oil, almond essential oil, apple powder, and popping candy and gardenia extract. So... Probably why I love it because I love our gardenia, although I still can't figure out why it's doing this like bubbling thing. Maybe the popping candy that's in here is kind of like melted or something, but I don't know. Very interesting. Okay, so with that being said, unfortunately, I think we are almost done with our haul. I think my favorite item this year is the, I don't know, probably the Toil and Trouble again because it's so much fun, but also the Lord of Mist Rule Soap because... I love Lord of Mist Rule so much, so now I can use it every time I wash my hands, so that's really fun. But yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you later. Bye!